Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to show you a tour of our celebration and holiday planner. This is a great way to see how you can use Notion for your holiday and party planning needs. If this is helpful for you, it would help us out a lot if you could subscribe, like, and click the notification bell. So let's dive right in. When you first open this template, there are these main sections. So in this gallery view, you'll see all of your celebrations and anniversaries. And we decided to tag these by the month. And then you can manually add the date because some celebrations are dependent. For example, Mother's Day is second of Sunday. Father's Day is third of Sunday. So this way you can kind of get a yearly view of all of your celebrations and anniversaries without being tied down to a date. And then on the left hand side, we have a button so that you can add new events and then some quick links like activities, schedule, shopping list, gift ideas, recipe ideas, contact book and guest tracker. And in this side, you can see all of your events. So the events are what's specific to each celebration that you're planning. So for example, if you're planning Christmas 2023, you would add it through this button or through here or through this Christmas page. And then inside of the holiday, then you can see some general information such as traditions and activities that you can add, recipes, and then you can also see the events through here. So this is the way that we decided to sort of structure this celebrations and anniversaries template. So let's actually try to add a event for Christmas 2023 just so that we can see how this works. So. If you wanted to add a new Christmas dinner 2023, all you have to do is to click first open this Christmas page and you can first start by planning some traditions and activities that you might like to do or look over some old resources that you've already prepared here. So let's, for example, here add a new tradition or activities, which is some Christmas movies and then you could click the activities template and then you could write notes or bookmark pages so you can gather all of your resources here and let's add a cover that is Christmassy by going to unsplash and we can find one for Christmas and we'll just click one here and then if we go back then we can see it reflected here and then for example, for recipes, you can also add new recipes here by clicking plus new. And for example, let's add a Christmas cake and you could add rating type ingredient servings instructions and it's tagged for Christmas. And then you can click the new recipe here and you can even add cover, change cover, unsplash and you can look for a Christmas cake. And we'll just choose one like this and then add an icon and we can choose this one. So here you can see you can add web bookmarks for your preferred recipes and this is a great way to just store things year after year so that you don't have to think about where your favorite recipe is. And next is the events. So we've already planned a Christmas 2023 here but for this example we'll be making a new one so we can just click plus new and call this Christmas dinner it will be on the 25th of December. And here you can see how much you've spent already and sort of how much budget you have left. So let's actually go out of this page and you can also add new events through this new event button. So if you needed to add through here, you can also do Christmas dinner like this. You just have to remember to tag it by the celebration. So in this case, it would be Christmas. And the rest is pretty much the same. You can add your budget here already if you'd like. And then it's going to load this template already here as well with your to-do, guest list, menu, shopping list, gift list, and notes. And alternatively, you can even add a new event through this event section here as well. So there's many ways to add events. Just make sure that it's tagged with this celebration. So let's actually delete these so that it's not confusing. And we can start planning through here. So if we open up this Christmas dinner and then we decide the budget is going to be 500, then we can see $500 and the budget status is 0%. And we can add a schedule. So let's say that we need to start planning the menu 
And for this, you should add the date because it's going to get shown in your schedule on the quick links. So let's say that we want to start planning this in the 14th of December and we can go back to Christmas dinner and we can see that we're planning the menu. You can also do send invites. You can do buy presents and so on. So you can just sort of plan your to-do list here. And then on this side, we have the guest list. So for the guest list, you'll want to make sure that you have some guests added to your contact book, but we already have some, so we can just see here and you can choose a guest. So let's say we are going to add dad and we can add also mom here. And you can put notes such as whether they're allergic to something or they don't like to eat a certain food and any other relevant information here. And you can check them off as they're invited or not and then whether or not they are SVP and whether or not they say that they're not coming. So this way you can easily track your guest list. And next we have the menu. So these are all the recipes that you've stored for all of your celebrations. So what you'll wanna do is actually filter it by the celebration and we can choose Christmas, save for everyone. And then let's say that you want the Brussels sprout salad for an appetizer. Well, you can click control click and then do copy link. And then all you have to do is open this up and then paste that link and then mention page. So then you have Brussels sprout salad here and you can easily open up this recipe. So this is a great way to plan your menu. After the menu, you can plan your shopping list. So this shopping list is for anything from decorations to food and anything that's not a gift. So if we add, let's say salad greens here and the tag is going to be food and the store will get it from Costco and the price, let's say costs $5 and we need two bags because it's for a lot of people. So now the total cost is 10 and then we can choose whether or not it's purchased or not. So if we click here, it's purchased. So this is a great way to calculate that. And then here we have our gift list. So first you can check your ideas and there's also a gift idea section on the left hand side. And this is where you could even just start planning. And then it's going to show up in your ideas section here. So this says no event. So if we click here, then you can actually choose to add it to this event and you could choose what person you're gonna buy it for. So let's say mom, and then you can choose the store. And again, you can choose the quantity. So let's say we're only buying one of these and we need to add a price. So let's say it's like $80 and then we've purchased it. So now the total spent is 80 here and we can see that we've spent $80 on gifts, $10 on shopping so far, and our budget status is at 18%. So in this way, you can really track your spending and your budget. So now we can see them in for purchase for this Christmas dinner. So that's basically all you need to do in order to view your events. You can see your schedule that you just made with your to-do list through this schedule here. So we have send invites for Christmas dinner and so on that you can basically tag with your event. You can view by events as well. So we have here and if you add the dates, it's going to show up in calendar view. Everything else that we tagged and linked into this event here is going to be shown also with the quick link. So everything is connected to each other and this makes it a very useful celebration and party planner. We hope that this celebration and holiday planner notion template tour was useful for you. You're welcome to use some of these ideas into your own celebration and holiday planners, as well as if you're interested in purchasing this template, we'll leave the link to that in the description below. Let us know if you have any comments, questions, or anything that was confusing in this video, and we hope to see you in the next one.